I'm going to try a different format today. Since you already know what it looks like for me to sharpen a knife, I'm going to cut much of the repetitive stuff out to save time. The purpose of this video is to show the differences between some finishing stones and strops, such as how they sound when being used, some best scores, and the finish they leave on the bevel. I'm using Shapton glass stones and Idaho hones, and the knife is a 30-year-old Henkel's paring sharpened at 21 degrees per side. For those of you who purchased something in the last three days, thank you. This morning, my wife was commenting on how orders have picked up and do I think it is because of the videos. So this one's for you, as she accepted that I was going to be spending today on another video. I have one more to make that is a continuation of this one, but more granular, and then I have to get back to making things. For scale, the width of this photo is 45 thousandths of an inch of the blade, so we can sort of make out some features as small as one thou, like chips, burrs, or other damage. I use the same magnification on all of my microscope photos, so this scale will not change. This photo is after the Shapton Glass 500. Look at both the scratch pattern and the burrs left on the apex. I used edge trailing passes with light pressure for all sharpening in this video, around 30 to 50 passes on each side. I checked the thickness of the stones and the coarse ones are all within about five thousandths of an inch and the finer ones within two thousandths of an inch deviation from end to end within the same stone. That The d different stones are certainly more of a variation than that. I also comped each stone for their different thicknesses. Here's the 2000 grit Shapton glass. And then next is the 4000 Shapton, but I only did two strokes to kind of show the difference, but it really doesn't show up well here. So let's go on. Here's the 4K Shapton with full, all the strokes on it. So it's done. And then the 8K Shapton the 16K Shapton, and finally the 30K Shapton. As you can see, it's um, the apex is polishing light nicely, but the back of the bevel isn't getting, I guess, polished correctly. The stone's not polishing out the scratches from the previous stone. So I'm not sure what to say about that. I guess the knife moved, not sure. Here's the bevel after sharpening it with the fine white Idaho hone. Um, towards the right, you can see what looks like a bit of a stray scratch. And look at the apex. It doesn't look as crisp as it did after the 30K Shapton. Here's the 30K Shapton for reference. Just looks like the apex is a little cleaner there. Five, six, seven, eight. Here's the bevel after the extra fine ivory Idaho hone. And it's, I think it looks even worse. Um, if you look along the apex, there's some smudges of metal missing out of it. You'll see those later on too. And then look at some of the straight deep scratches. The far right corner, there's a spot there. And then right in the middle, there's a long scratch going from the bottom to the top. Um, this is a sign that the bond is too hard for this stone, for this grit used this way. This is really where the strops come into play with their softer bond and more give. right here. Three, four, seven, 
Here I've gone back with the 8K shaft and to clean up the bevel after the hones. And I didn't quite get all the damage out. You can see it right along the top of the photo towards the center on the apex. There's two spots right there. You'll see them further, a little more obvious what you're looking at um, as we polish up the bevel. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Here I've got where I'd use the polymer strop with a five micron diamond. You can see how the strops polish a lot better with the softer bond. And then we've gone to the one micron diamond on my polymer strop. And this is where, if you look at the apex towards the right, you can see that nice little ding in it that didn't polish out. That's what I was talking about. Another 20 strokes. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I've gone back to a 5 micron soft white aluminum oxide on my polymer strops. Just playing around seeing what that will do with this steel. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And then in this photo, it's a half micron soft white aluminum oxide, which not much different from the diamond is there. Is not contaminated. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Two. In this photo, I'm using the same half micron aluminum oxide, but I raised the stone five thousandths of an inch to just trying. Get it, um, polish out the apex a little better. Strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then here is a photo of the bare leather strop. Notice the more scratches, more random, deeper scratches than the here the aluminum oxide or the polymer strop. Here that photo is again, so you can see it. And then back to the bare leather. And for this last photo, I went back to my polymer strop with 5 micron diamond to just see how well it would clean it up, and it did. Um, 
That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next one, which is just a continuation of this, but more fun.